Christian reflection, holy abandonment. Look at this picture. The person is in the quicksand, in the desert place, but he is fully surrendering and saying Amen to the will of God. What is your reflection on this picture? With you by my side, when I am feeling all alone and I am far away from home, God, I need you to hear me. When my friends all turn away, then I ache to hear you say that you are with me through it all. You are the light. You are the song that I am singing. Whom should I fear when you are with me? For you are my God. And with you, there is nothing I can't do. With you by my side. When I feel all sick inside, with no place to hide, God, I need you to listen. When it seems I can't go on, then I long to hear this song, reminding me you are my friend. And as I go through my life, I will keep you in my sight to walk with me and be my strength. God, I know your plan for me to help all those in need. To you alone I give my life. Can I see where I am stuck in my life today? What am I consciously doing to free myself from being stuck? What is my prayer this time? What can open me to an inflowing God? What is blocking God's entry? We are being invited to strip away the craving for gratification and things that separate us from God, from attachments and appetites which are more demanding. The focus is on desire. If this gets out of place, it curls in on itself and chokes one. Only the memory of Jesus can bring us calm. You deal with your storm, but you need a vision of Jesus. The storms, the fears being left out. You cannot recognize God, but in abandonment, it is a holy mystery. It is a real home, a hidden closeness, a love to share. We are beautiful even though we feel our brokenness. You see the beauty that God dwells in you. Face it, deal with it, beautify your life and forgive all. Mark chapter 9 verses 14 to 29 And when he came to his disciples, he saw a great multitude about them and the scribe questioning with them. And straight away all the people, when they beheld him, were greatly amazed, and running to him, saluted him. And he asked the scribe, What question ye with them? And one of the multitude answered and said, Master, I have brought unto thee my son, which hath a dumb spirit. And wheresoever he taketh him, he teareth him, and he foameth, and gnasheth with his teeth, and pineth away. And I spoke to you, thy disciples, that they should cast him out, but they could not. He answered him and said, O faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him unto me. And they brought him unto him. And when he saw him, straight away the spirit tarry him. He fell on the ground and bellowed foaming. And he asked his father, How long is it ago since this came unto him? And he said, Of a child. And of times it had cast him into the fire and into the waters to destroy him. But if thou can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. And straight away the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help thou my unbelief. When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him, and enter no more into him. And the spirit cried and rent him sore, and came out of him, and he was as one dead, insomuch that many said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. And when he came into the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could not we cast him out? And he said unto them, This kind can come forth by nothing but by prayer and fasting. What are my desires? What am I dependent on as an identity to be a whole human being? The more demands I make on myself, the more attention I give, the guilt, rationalization, excuses, opinions and options and I become a slavery to sin and I am stuck because I want to prove myself right. I routinize. I have choices which I do again and again. I have no energy and no spark. I only want comfort. I need to break from mediocrity. Jesus came to make us whole human beings. It was not a moral issue. Love of God is a huge thing. I become that. Not put love in an object because the horizon is God. We can breathe in God, freedom in love. I don't need it, not bad. Bad is at the center. Know that you love. What to do with love? Dependence is wrong, not denying. Humanity is uh, always helpless. No one can help us. We have to admit our helplessness and create space for God and Jesus. Is prayer escaping uh, or facing reality? I have to say, no. 
for any negotiations and other compromises.